Every day. Um, how's everybody doing in this great, great world we live in? <laughs> it's foggy out here. You barely can see. Very foggy. But um, I want to come on here because of something that just happened to me at the gas station. I was at um, a local gas station in my city and um, I'm paying for some juices that I'm buying. It's uh, seven o'clock in the morning and the young lady's ringing me out. She recognized my face from uh, YouTube uh, from a while ago. And she said, uh, as she's ringing me out, she said, uh, uh, did you see what Jay Will said about his car declining? And uh, when she said that, you know, I responded. I said I saw a little. Bit of it. I saw a little bit of it, and um, you know, blah 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 blah. But uh, what I want to say, and this is nothing against him, uh, or whatever. I noticed. I watched a video where uh, he was trying to prove that God is okay with two men having intercourse with each other. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start watching my words as I say them on here, because you'd be surprised at how people. Uh, uh, follow you and, 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 and you never had a clue I'm going to have to go, up some, go somewhere and park and talk but um, she she began to ask me she said uh, did you see well she just said it once uh, did you see what Jay Wilson said about his car declining and uh, I told her yeah I saw a little bit of it I you know I don't really keep up like that I don't you know the, the beef sector for a person who's a content creator uh, the beef sector can take over your life or you can laugh it off and move on. Uh, I never really, I never want to be a part of it. I was recruited, um, make a long story uh, short. And so uh, when she said that, my heart went out to Jay Wilson because I had a talk with my brother. My, I had a talk with my brother the other day. And we were talking about uh, reputation in our names. And, you know, my brother was telling me that, uh, you know, when you die, you want to have a good name. You know, you don't want people remembering you for buffoonery or stupid stuff. You want to have a good name. And so, uh, well, give me one second, you all. I'm going to go somewhere and park so I could do this. I don't like to drive and do this, but uh, I'm going to go somewhere and park for a second. But uh, as my brother was saying, you know, that, you know, this is just a private talk with he and I, um, you know, my brother is uh, I'm 40. He's four years older than me. He's 52. And so to make a long story short, you know, he's he's concerned with his name. You know, as you die, the only thing that's left is your name, you know, uh, reputation. Sorry about this camera moving. I'm. You know, I'm still old school with the one hand on the phone and the one hand on the steering wheel. Um, I want to park real quick so I could uh, talk about this. I don't really don't make videos like this, you all. But uh, my brother was talking about. Um, OK. I parked. My brother was talking about having your name mean something. Your name not drug in the mud. Your name should be so much bigger than what you are. Your name should mean everything. Uh, when somebody hears your name, they should see, they should see character when they think about you. So, make a long story short, we were talking about our names and uh, have not not saying he has a bad name. I'm not saying that, so nobody lie on me. We were just talking about reputations, building a great name, so when you die, you know, you, you leave a legacy for your kids and uh, uh, your family, your reputation. You know, you just want to have a good name, even in life. And so um, when the lady at the gas station, uh, she's ringing me out. And she said, did you see uh, Jay Wilson um, explain the credit, uh, his card at McDonald's or something like that? I told her I saw a little bit of it. I didn't see a lot. I saw I heard I heard him um, describing uh, uh, that. And then he explained uh, uh, I got two cars and this one is that one. And, and, uh, and, you know, and, um, I left a message on there, which I rarely do. And I said, why do you have to explain yourself? You 52 years old. Why do you have to explain yourself? You're a grown man. Who cares about what's in your wallet? Why do you have to explain yourself? Cause see, when you try to over explain yourself, you start looking guilty. Um, I did that in the past 
trying to explain myself. My daughter lied on me. And you know, all that bull crap. I didn't have to say nothing. I, I, and my mother told me, shut your mouth. Just let it play. Let, let her do what she going to do. Let it play on. Live your life. And uh, I didn't have to explain myself every day. And it's a lie. And I don't know who this Susie is. And, and oh, God, they, they, they talk about me. And she, she lying on me. And I was cracking up. But trying to explain yourself make you look more guilty than what you are. That it, it, even if you're not. Um, when the lady uh, told me um, at the gas station a few minutes ago, this this was like five minutes ago, did you see his uh, video uh, where his car declined? My heart went out to him. Uh, I don't want him to respond. I don't want him to say somebody sent me a message of that guy saying something about me. It's not about that. OK, so you don't have to say that because I know you watch me. So ain't nobody sending you nothing. But uh, it 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 my heart went out to him because. Who is YouTube? Who are people across the country you'll never meet that you got to explain why your card declined? Who I mean, who cares? And um not only that, uh, when Five Babe made an entire video about homosexuality and, and, and what the church, what the Bible says, debunked in everything you've said about it, uh, that's really why I started watching you again to see if you'd respond. And, um, you know, so far you just said uh, somebody told me and I'm going I'm going to keep on teaching how I do. And, you know, you never respond. You, you skirt around it, which that's your that's your prerogative. But. Um, I don't know, it's like your name got to be bigger than what you are. When somebody here is James Wilcox, they should um, have justice, Kishana, uh, when somebody. Um, uh when somebody says, and can somebody hit thumbs up? I haven't been on here in a long time. Hit thumbs up because I haven't been on here in a long time. But um, when somebody talks about you and your name, your name should be so much bigger than what, what it is. Nobody should know you as somebody being messy. And this, listen, listen, this goes for Larry Nelson too, okay? Nobody should know you for being messy. Y'all hear that? Now, I'm going to explain that. My car needs one of these little things inside. The, every time you turn the heat on it, t -t 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 -t, like that. Uh, it's not going out. It's something about it. I'm not a mechanic, but the part is like 20 something dollars. But, you know, what you're paying for is labor. So I'll do that soon. But anyway, um, you hear me explaining myself. But anyway, um, you know, our names got to be bigger than what they are. I'm talking in a positive way. Nobody should hear the name, and, and I'm just using this as an example, Jay. Nobody should hear Jay, but that's the gay preacher. Who wants to put that together? Gay preacher. That's what you call an oxymoron. Two opposites. Gay preacher. You know, I mean, which, I mean, but, um, you know, for some reason, you have no it's cold here, you all. For some reason, you don't have a problem with, um, as the world will say, playing with God. So I'll leave that alone. But uh, you should have your name so stellar, so marvelous is how you carry, carry yourself in your character that uh, nobody should be able to talk about you. Nobody should be able to say anything uh, about Jay Wilson that would have anyone saying anything negative. You got to do better, man, because I was watching Five A, who got a thousand, many thousands of followers. And, you know, you can't you can't change how people see you, but you can control how you carry yourself. You know, if a person just hates you because of that, that's it. When I ran across you, I had a problem with you constantly saying my name. I didn't know you from the man in the moon. I just had a problem with you, huh? And a Larry Nelson, and he was, and I'm wondering who is this dude? I don't know talking about me, you know. And I, and that's where I had a problem with, and you know that's YouTube. I had to learn that the hard way. But uh, brother, listen, as we get older, and listen, you you forty, hi Mrs. M, aka the Queen, before you, uh, as we get older, Jay Wilson. It has to be something inside of you to say, you know what? 
Forget the coin, as you say, the, uh, you're here for the money. It's got to be something inside you say, you know what? I got to be better than this. I got to have my character go beyond how I carry myself on YouTube. Man, listen, I was having fun when I was making videos about R. Kelly, uh, the state of black America, the school system. I just talked about anything that came to my mind. And lo and behold, a thousand followers. When that when those numbers came up, next thing you know, I got the LBGT community coming at me. Who are these people? Oh, because I was talking to Andrew Caldwell. Now, the funny thing is, you can't find one person part of the LBGT community that defends Andrew Caldwell because his videos got so silly that even gay people don't even uh, defend him no more. He's gay. Leave him alone. You don't know. Him. And so, um, so that's the whole thing. Um, you know, my name was put in it. And so I, I came out fighting like a crazy dog. But what was the purpose? I mean, honestly, what was the purpose for me to try to defend myself at people you'll never see? They're, they're never going to see you. They're never going to. Um, hi, KP. Uh, they're never going to see you. They're never going to step foot uh, face to face with you. I remember on. Um, I forgot the lady's name that does the video. She got a little gap tooth. Um, I forgot. I mean, you know, they come and go on here, but it was a lady that used to make videos, content creator. That was um, on her show. Somebody called in and said they was going to come to St. Louis and beat the hell out of me. And, um, you know, it's funny to me. And so I called in. Where is he at? I wait right by the St. Louis arch for you. You know, I give you the address. And so um, here I am. Opening my mouth, trying to defend myself off some stupid stuff. Dude never showed up. Um, yeah, KP, I forgot her name, but dude never showed up. No black eyes. Uh, I remember Susie got on here. Who he's finna go to jail? Still ain't been to jail. <laughs> um, um, and uh, you know, basically, <clears throat> you have to monitor how you carry yourself. That's all I'm saying. Monitor how you carry yourself because your name, well, after YouTube is over with. Um, well, after this thing is over with, you got people who will watch you, uh, uh, remember you. I'm at a gas, listen, you all, I'm at a gas station. I'm going to show you real quick. I'm at a gas station buying fruit drinks, these fruit drinks today. And, um, the girl tells me she's a beautiful girl. She doesn't make videos. Okay. She says, uh, did you see Jay Wilson explaining about the uh, decline credit card? And um, um, the whole thing is like, I, 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 I heard him explain it because I started watching after 5 a made the video about gay and what the Bible says. I want to see, because he always has a response for everything. I want to see what's he going to give a biblical response. He didn't. He did not give a biblical response. Yeah, I'm going to keep on teaching how I want to teach. And, you know, that's not an answer. That's not, that's skating around the answer. But anyway, my whole point is, um, uh, as the woman at the gas station was talking, I began to think about character. This woman, who I rarely ever sees, she knows me from YouTube. She knows me. She remember the whole beef stuff. She remember. Now, I, I can't say... To my credit, she um, she did tell me in the beginning that she she remember how all the beef started and, you know, she didn't believe all that. And I appreciate that, you know, but uh, there there's always going to be some people. Hey, I believe Tanaya. I believe your daughter. You know, you can't stop what people believe. You cannot stop it. Um, Susie and them and not to get off the subject, but Susie and them posted my church's number, had them calling the church. The church, the church secretary. And, you know, I don't know what the effects was now. My pastor really doesn't talk to me no more. So that's life. That's life. But um, but it goes to show you your name means everything. Your name means everything. So if you're going to run around here, Jay Wilson. Talking about uh God said, and it's okay for two men to have sex, and it's okay with Jesus, and all this stuff, man. Man, listen, have your scriptures right, 
if you're not going to uh, preach the word of God and you know this is not traditional Christianity, man, leave it alone. Leave it alone because, see, you comment, trying to defend yourself on some YouTube stuff. And what it does is make you look worse and worse. I got on here trying to defend myself against you, against Vonnie, against Susie, my daughter, who they recruited off my Facebook page and paid her $802 to sell, to sell out to talk about your father. That's sad. But my whole point is me responding made me look very stupid. I didn't have to respond. I got on, um, and I'll say this real quick and I'm going to be done with it. On Instagram, I got a little Instagram page I probably post on there. But um, there's a young lady post posing as my daughter. He got a thousand kids. He never took care of none of us. He's a no good father. I hate him. She's going through every friend on Instagram, contacting him, talking about me with that same message. Just like screenshot. I'm going to talk to all of them about it. And they all contact me. Who is this crazy person? I don't know her. And because of that, she's making herself look very, very stupid, very childish and very immature and very fat. <laughs> so anyway, um, if I sat there trying to explain myself, I don't know what this is. This is, you know, I mean, God bless. If that's if, if that's how you feel, you want to talk about me. Good, good, good. You know, uh, if you were my daughter, you haven't made it no better, but you're not. So anyway, God bless you. I hope this message is just uh, something I had to stop, park my car and talk about because the young lady uh, asked me, did I see Jay Wilson's response to his declining credit card? And uh, so my whole point is, um, you know, you all, let's be better stewards of our name. I should have named the uh, video that. Let's be better stewards of our names. And when I say that, I'm speaking to the man in the mirror, me. I don't want to look up and people are talking about, man, you remember that time you, you, I mean, I remember one time my pastor, uh, this is when we were at the old church. We, uh, used to have CDs and DVDs of the services. And, uh, me and a couple other brothers went downtown East St. Louis. And this was on a Saturday night when the clubs were popping down there. And we would just pass out these free CDs to people in the cars. And, you know, I'm having fun because I'm new at the church. We're having fun. I'm with the brothers or whatever. And some girl uh, rolled down the window, Larry Nelson. I'm like, yeah, I didn't recognize her face. And she looked over to the boyfriend driving the car. Oh, baby, you used to grab my booty in, high, in junior high. She went back to junior high, me grabbing her butt. And I'm looking up at the brother, man. I was a kid then, you know. But uh, nothing happened. He he smiled it off and kept driving, took the CD or whatever. But my whole point is your character means everything. Wouldn't it have been something if she would said, you saved my life? Wouldn't it be something if she said, uh, I copied off you in the math class and as a result I passed or whatever? Um, Mata said, good morning, all. I don't worry about other salvation on my own. Well, uh, Mata, I'm not talking about the salvation. I'm talking about character. I'm talking about your name and how you carry yourself. I don't care about the salvation. That's between him and God. I'm just saying, we, we, I'm 48 years of age. He's 52. At a certain age, you got to realize, whoa, am I playing with God? Am I, making a, am I making a mockery of the name of God? Am I making a mockery of Christianity? You know? I mean, it's only so many times you can talk about uh, Tracy and 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 all these other girls on YouTube, and and you know, then say I'm a Christian. At, at a certain point, you got to look in the mirror, like, wait a minute, I'm making myself look bad. That's all I'm saying. Carry your carry your name to a higher level, and that's what I have to do. That's what I'm working on daily. And um, when I heard his name at a gas station in Illinois. Um, when I, when I listened to the girl and I was talking, it was, um, something inside of me that felt sorry for him. I'm being honest. I felt sorry for him. And I'm like, well, we, 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 we gotta be past this stuff. He's not a friend of mine. I'm not a friend of his, but he, um, I've talked to him in the past and I, I really wish that, um, 
I really wish that um you know and, and you know the credit for me is when I got on YouTube, I didn't know you get paid for it. I'm still not paid for it. But um and I could be monetized now. But you know, like I said, I've seen a side of certain people when they get monetized, they kind of lose. I, I didn't say no names, but I've seen some people that lose their mind. They go all out, all out talking about people, all out. And somebody's going to get hurt. And listen, you all, I was the first person to say, um, uh, those girls are going to get R. Kelly. Uh, they're going to keep on till they get him indicted. He go to prison. I was the first one to say, uh, 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 Andrew Crawwell actually is crazy, and now people are realizing that. And I'll be the first one to say, and I was the first one way back then, and I said, um, somebody on YouTube, because of this beef thing, somebody's actually going to get, I hate to say it, I believe somebody's going to get killed off this beef stuff. I really do. It's only so much you can take. I remember when, um, what is that guy who smokes cigars on his uh, YouTube page? Uh, he's a content creator. Um, I forgot to do his name. If you all know it, type it in. Uh, he smokes big fat cigars. And um, at one point, uh, he did not like the fact that Jay Wilson was talking about him. He said, well, I'm going to be in your city this weekend, bro, or, or next month. I want to see you. Uh, Rick Reed. No, not Rick Reed. It's, it's, it's a black dude. I think he's like, I think he's bald headed. If I'm not mistaken, I think he's, I know he smokes cigars. But anyway, uh, he said, uh, Daryl Moore, thank you. Thank you, Stoner Girl. Daryl Moore, he made a video and said, uh, Jay Wilson, I'm going to be in your city. And when I get there, I want us to meet up. We're going to talk like men because I'm not going to do this YouTube thing. Now, he wasn't threatening him. He didn't say we was going to fight. He said, I want to talk to you. We're going to talk face to face as men. Jay Wilson immediately made a video an hour and a half long. I remember it. It was about an hour and a half long talking about the San Antonio police, how quick they're to respond when you call. And I don't know if that was a, that, that was a slick way to tell Daryl Moore, listen, if you come here, I'm calling the police. And to me, now I'm speaking, we're, we're three men, Jay, Daryl Moore, Larry, we're three men. I'm speaking as a man. That's a coward move. Don't talk about me. And then when I say, I want to see you, you get scared. Now, Daryl Moore took the professional route. Jay Wilson kept talking about my house, carpet on the walls. You dress like an old man in Pentecostal suits. He was, and, and it was mocking me at that time. So I'm from the old school. We could only talk so long. Then after a while, let's do something. So um, I didn't do like Daryl Moore said, so I'm going to be in your city. We're going to talk like men. I just straight up said, look, when I see you, I'm going to break your jaw and I'm gonna make sure you have to have reconstructive surgery. I want you, I want you maimed up. He made another, he, well, for me, it was like a two and a half hour video, um, uh, video in which um, he talked about the San Antonio police. Now that was the past. And um, what's her name just said, uh, Mata said, um, uh, Modest, when I first got on here, I wasn't really invested. I was just making videos. I did not realize that when you get, when you get a lot of people um, uh, making, uh, making uh, when, when you start getting a lot of videos uh, and a lot of people start following you, people start talking about you. And that's Black America as a whole. They talk about you and then all of a sudden, um, um, you know, somebody's trying to bring you down. I didn't realize that had I stayed on my soapbox, I'd probably have 50,000 followers and, and I didn't get off into it for that. I, I was making videos having fun. Okay, and it's just like Salty T just said, what about your landlord that talks about your house, Larry? You know, and uh, you know, you just, that's somebody in the comment section. Uh, and, and that just goes to show you got ignorant people no matter where you go. So um, my whole point is uh, we have to be careful and mindful of our character. We have to be mindful of our character. Um, I hope you go. Okay, we got to be mindful of our character and uh, mindful how we carry ourselves. And I'm not talking about, I'm not invested in YouTube. I'm not, uh, 
I don't even make videos like that anymore from the bushes. And everybody's changed. I noticed that uh, Terraline, Terraline, um, I look at all his videos, and you can go to this page now. He probably has um, 10 people watch a video. 10 people watch one video, or at the most, three. And um, as long as he was in this beef thing, 500 uh, views, 600, 1,000 for a video, 1,200 watch this one, and, you know, and numbers climb when it's on negative stuff. Can we talk about positive stuff and get numbers? And so uh, I would like to uh, challenge Jay Wilson as a man, okay? You ain't my friend, you ain't content creators, like you say, with co-workers and all that stuff. I, I just want to challenge you as a man. Can you make content about society and life without talking about, oh, this woman on YouTube said this, and I forget the names that you call out, but can we do that? Uh Mata said, I agree, Larry, but our I agree about our character, but some don't feel the same. Well, Mata said, I can't change the world. I'm, I'm talking about myself. That's why when I made the video, I said, I'm talking about the man in the mirror. But I would hope that uh, Jay Wills could see one day he's going to, uh, one day this YouTube thing is going to be over with as far as this making videos and getting paid because they're going to shut it down sooner or later like they do everything. And, um, I don't want to be remembered for stupid stuff. You remember you blasted Vonnie and all, you know, I don't want to hear all that stuff. That's, that gets old. I don't want to hear that. That, you know, it's the past, the past. That's it. And, but you know, we just have to be better people. That's all I mean. Modest. We just have to be uh, better people and how we carry ourselves. Um, I'm not talking to no one, but uh, the man in the mirror. And I would hope that, Jay Wilson can watch this and say, you know what? Let me better myself. You know, I remember last time I said this, he got on here and he twitched the whole thing around. I like me. I don't care. Nobody say, I like me. This is not about you liking yourself. It's not about you liking yourself. It's about your character. And, and it's sad when people get an ideal on everything. I did not say Y'all, y'all, y'all get what I'm saying, but I, I just want to be a better person. And um it's not for him to change. He's gonna always be hunting. And uh I know he's saying he's saying something over and over again, like a catchphrase, like a okay. It's something that he said. He'll pick up something from a woman and say, okay, you know, and it's over and over again, he'll say it, but it's I'd have to go through the videos and watch this certain thing he'll say, like uh you know, some 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 loud expression like that. But anyway, um, what I'm what I'm trying to say is going to be himself. I'm not trying to change you. I'm, I I would care less how you do. But I'm saying as a man, and I heard you say you're 52 years of age. At 52, when your hair and your face grow gray like mine, we should start saying we getting old, bro. We getting old. All my children are all adults i'm getting old i mean we just have to face facts we even got older and um we just got to do uh what's up chris we just got to do better as far as uh being here and i um like i said i could talk all day about you know saying you're preaching you know passing you know that that's between him and god i mean i i used to talk about that and get mad like, dude, why are you claiming to be a preacher? But, you know, that's him and God. I don't care. But your name will carry with you for a long time. You're going to um, 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 you're going to uh, what's the word for it? Um, you, 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 you one day, one day they're going to look back on the, uh, the life of Larry Nelson I don't want people saying, and you know, he was arguing with people on YouTube, and guess what his daughter said? And you know, like I said, on my side here, my family knows that was a lie. I can't get on YouTube. Hey, y'all gotta believe me. I ain't in jail. Emma. It's a lie. She lied on me. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares what YouTube thinks? 
If your card did decline, Jay Wilson, who cares? It's your card. You tell me Monty and I got my Monty and, and I got two cars and I'm going back to my big old house and my degrees. I don't know of anybody. I've never met nobody in my life talk about their degrees more than you. Who cares, man? 50% of the black population don't have a degree. So are you better than everybody? Who cares? Move on with your life, man. Live your life. Try to do videos about not talking about other women on YouTube. Dogging them out. Tell me whose house has got roaches and who's smoking cigarettes. I mean, man, listen, we got to go to another level. We got to, man. Care about your character more than anything. See, the money's good and you got everybody... Uh, what do you call them? Uh, uh, um, Ryder Lives or whatever. I think that's what you call them. It's been so long since I've been on here. The you, you, uh, Ryder Lives hyping you up. Keep on talking. We don't care about them. They hating on you. And then you get on here. Somebody sent me the video. I don't watch him, but no, you do watch. You do watch. Nobody got to see your video because you do watch. But I'm just saying, man, listen. Get to a level, man, where you're better than this stuff, man. We... We on there debating and arguing. You arguing with people you will never meet, and then when you make people mad enough with your mouth, because you got a you got you got a wicked tongue, you know, people will get on here and talk about they want to see you. They want to see you, and then you make videos about the police. I don't want them to go to jail, and so I'm just saying you should be, um, um, you 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 just a better person than man you're supposed to be. I see a guy named Salty T keeps on texting me on here. Um, and Salty T, uh, for the record, uh, I'm on my platform. I could talk about what I want. Okay. Thank you. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just think that you could do a better job. And you know, the funny thing is, and let me, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to end it with this one. Okay. I want to challenge Jay Wilson to this one. Okay. A lot of us don't live in big cities. San Antonio, Texas is a big city, beautiful city, very beautiful. They got the River Walk. They got the stadium where the San Antonio Spurs play. They got a lot of uh, theaters, parks, uh, uh, beautiful neighborhoods with homes, not your homes, but, but homes. Why don't you do videos showing the River Walk, downtown uh, San Antonio? Show one of those nice steak restaurants where you eat. Show and look, y'all. Y'all ain't never had a steak this big. Show the wonders of San Antonio, Texas, man. Show the Mexican neighborhood where all the beautiful restaurants are and the beautiful women. I don't, well, that ain't your thing, but I'm just saying. Uh, um, do that, man, and just, just, just do. Try to see if you can talk about anything besides. Some uh, a content creator on YouTube, mm -hmm, and she's looking humbly and bumming. There's a gay man that starts to look bad for you to talk about a woman all the time, all the time. And if that woman made, a, if that woman made a video uh, saying I want to see you, is make a video, and you would talk about uh, the San Antonio police. And to me, that's not fair. Don't 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 swing. Don't throw a rocket and then hide. There's an old saying about that. I forgot how I go. But anyway, uh, um, I'm out of here, you all. But show San Antonio, Texas. Show uh, they have they have car conventions there all the time. Show the Mexican lowriders that bounce up and down. You know, it's a lot you could do, man. Show the wonders of look at show all the mega churches in San Antonio. Show the mega churches in San Antonio, Texas. Besides talking about your house, show some big, beautiful homes. Go to a neighborhood with all mansions and show us the man. Show us the city that you live in and make it so glamorous. We'll make everybody say, you know what? I want to move there. <clears throat> but let's go beyond talk about other people. You all, I'm going to get off here. I got a life. Uh, I just want to make this video because a young lady that works at a gas station uh, talked to me um, and go from there. Uh, Mata said, well, Larry, his followers like his content. I'm not talking about liking. I'm talking about your character. I'm talking about your character. Because one day, like or not, he's going to die. I'm going to die. You're going to die. We're going to leave this earth. Only thing left is our name. 
I don't want my name to be drug in the mud. Larry was a stupid prick. I don't want that. Larry was dumb acting. It wasn't nothing for him to get mad when you talk about him and cuss you out. I don't want that. And I would hope that he doesn't want that. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I'll make sure I got your name right. Modest. And I re respect your opinions, but I'm just saying it should be something inside you say, I want better for my name than anything else. That's all I'm saying. You all are for the go. God bless you all. Keep me in your prayers, okay? Uh, I'm doing great. Um, Got to go to work today and God bless. Peace. Mm.